I've been pressing Section 230 reform. The Justice Department has taken on their own efforts, but the Justice Department's effort seems more driven uh, by Donald Trump's political wishes rather than a rational theory of the case. And quite honestly, I don't trust anything that comes out of the Justice Department where Bill Barr is the leader, uh, and because he clearly has shown time and again he'd rather protect Donald Trump than actually enforce the laws of the country. So a bar driven 230 reform, I don't think makes much sense. A bipartisan um, congressional reform, uh, count me in. Senator, I, I read what the Dep Department of Justice put out, and despite all the rhetoric that's gone around this, I mean, it looks like it's doing some of the very things that you've said you'd like to see. It's rolling back protections if, if there's child pornography, uh, child exploitation, terrorism, online cyber stalking. I mean, those, those are all things that seem pretty good. So well, what's wrong with going remember, ahead and, and, remember, and doing some of these things since the Senate has not, the Senate and the House have not been able to come up with something that they could uh, agree on? Let me let me point out some of the things you, you may not you may have missed that you know we already have protections on content against child pornography we already have content uh, protections against terrorism we already have legal uh, protections against um, sex trafficking Congress did act I don't and, think and yet, enough enough but let me finish let me answer your question um, no. some of the other things okay. that have been proposed by um, by the Justice Department I, I think makes sense I mean. Cyber, uh, cyber stalking, some of the harassment activity. Uh, my concern, quite honestly, is um, if, if this Justice Department reform was being done by the career professionals, you know, again, sign me up. If it's going to be driven and directed by Bill Barr as an agent of Donald Trump, that's not the kind of um, unbiased reform I think we need. But what I will point out is, despite the protections that are out there for things like child exploitation, the problems have gotten much worse on the Internet. It, it seems like there should be ways to hold big companies accountable if they're taking part in any of that. And any concerns you might have about the Department of Justice, we, we have not seen bipartisanship that, even though it's been talked about, we, we have not seen anything that's come and that's passed on this. So what, what do you do about it? How do you reach that's, out to your fellow senators I, and maybe reach across the aisle? I think that is a a fair comment beyond even Section 230, I've got bipartisan legislation called the Honest Ads Act that says if somebody posts political ads on Facebook, they ought to have the same reporting requirements as if they post political ads on CNBC. That seems just equality of treatment. Mm -hmm. I think we need to also have, I've got something called the Access Act that says, let's make sure that if you're tired of Facebook or tired of how Google treats you, you can move all of your data easily from one site to another, data portability. The same kind of things, I was an old telecom guy that happened when we had number portability uh, back in the 80s and 90s that opened up to a degree the telecom market. And along with that portability ought to come uh, interoperability. So you can still talk to your friends if you, even if you move to a new platform, if you have still friends on, on Facebook, again, bipartisan. I've got another bill that we call the Access Act that says, you know, eh, Actually, on the, another le legislation, not the Access Act, that frankly says, you know, you ought to have a right to know what your data is worth to these companies. So a lot of transparency requirements that I think make common sense. But your your critique that Congress has not acted, even on the Honest Ads Act, um, is a reflection. Uh, frankly, it frustrates the heck out of me because there is a lot of bipartisan interest, and yet we still haven't seemed to be able to bring something across the finish line.